Hello, welcome everyone to Teaching Brainiac. Welcome to our state exam prep. Here we will discuss some questions from the practice exams. We will talk about anything from fractions to division to area and perimeter. Most of the state exam is all multiple choice. So one of the things that I like to teach my students is process of elimination. And that means the definite two answers that do not make any sense whatsoever in for that specific problem. This is a classic example of where we could do process of elimination, right? So in this case, we have, what is the correct answer for two plus two equals four, correct? So now we have the definite ones that we know for sure that should not be here is this one, right? Because one plus one has nothing to do with four. And then we definitely have the two plus one, which we know for sure isn't that one. What happens with multiple choice is always there's two answers that are very, very close and then the other two are definite not right. Or sometimes there's three definitely not right and one is, um, one is not correct and one of them is, right? But in this case, we have one plus one plus one plus one does equal four. So, so far this would be the correct answer, but let's check this one, right? So we have 1.5, 1.5. <gasps> The dreaded decimals, right? Oh, but let's see. We have 1.5, and we add the 1.5. Now that equals 3. All right? We have 5 plus 5 equals 10. And then 1, 2, 3, 3.0, right? And then guess what? We also have to add a 2. So when we add that 2, it equals 5. So that would not be correct. So in this case, letter B would be the answer. The other thing is always make sure to read. This is it, right? Which of the above is not correct or true? They will use those two words. It will be either correct or true, right? So then the problem is 2 plus 2 in parentheses plus 9. So I don't know if you know, but what's in the parentheses has to be done first. So we will have 4. And then 4 plus 9 equals 13, right? So in this case, it says not true. So let's look at the answers here. See, we have B, 13. So this one is true. 10 plus 3 equals 13. So this is also true. 10 plus 2 is 12 plus 1 equals 13. So this is also true. So the one that is not true is this one. So this would be the answer for that kind of problem. Be mindful that a lot of these problems come along and they could be very, very confusing. So I just want to point that up. That's another fantastic tip. Make sure you read everything. Be careful with the nots and the correct and trues because that can definitely trip you up a little bit, okay? When you're practicing for state exams with students, if you're a teacher, if you're a mom and you have your children, a lot of times it's just good to practice some questions like this and then not let them know that they are state exam prep questions because a lot of times when they hear that they get nervous. So what I like to do is just throw them randomly in our tutoring session and I'll just throw those questions in there and see how they do and then we'll work through it together. Once we're done, I'll say, well, look at that. You did a fantastic job. This was your first time doing a state exam prep question. Just do it just throw it in there randomly and don't let them know about it because sometimes like i don't know about you but when i was a child tests used to freak me out i wasn't a great test taker myself i learned a lot of tips as i grew older um another great tip that you could tell them is read through all the questions um read through the question if you don't feel too confident about it go to the next one and keep going do the ones that you feel comfortable with then go back do the ones you feel with excuse me do the ones you feel comfortable with now and then keep doing that process. As an adult, that's what I do. And I think that is so effective for me personally. And everyone's different. You know your child or your student best. So do what works for you. So like I said, any questions, leave them down below. 